to a fresh new week of 30 Days of Cleaning with Hayley. Today, we are going to be taking on radiators. During the winter months, our radiators are working their butts off to keep us warm. However, with heat comes bacteria. The heat from our radiators gives bacteria a ideal breeding ground to multiply and thrive. And what's more, the buildup of dust and dirt results in our radiators not working to their full potential. For this clean, we are going to be using a vacuum and dish soap only. So, you're ready, I'm ready, we're all ready. Let's get in to day eight of 30 Days of Cleaning with Hayley. So excited! cleaning safety first go ahead and switch your radiators off we don't want them to be hot we don't even want them to be warm we want them to be cool so we can get the best bang for our buck when it comes to cleaning okay guys so the first thing we need to do when it comes to cleaning our radiators is make sure that we have removed any dust that is lingering on them. So the best thing to use is your vacuum with the dust attachment, just to get in all of these crevices here. You can also, here is a Haley's helpful hack for you, use a hairdryer. This will blow any of the dust that is in these bits here out the bottom, but you need to make sure that once you have done that, you go over the base as well with your vacuum otherwise you're going to have dust all over your house and that is not what we want we want to clean smarter not harder radiators we can go ahead and go in with our dish soap cloth there will be if your house is anything like mine anyway scuff marks on your radiator I have got loads here look there's one big one going along here and there's a couple of smaller ones here to get rid of these we're going to use the magic eraser but we're first going to go over it with our dish cloth the reason we are using dish soap and not fabric softener. I know you're all thinking it. For those of you that have been following me forever will know that my favourite choice of weapon when it came to cleaning radiators was fabric softener because it made my house smell like blue flavour. Well, this is the Haley's Help YouTube channel and I make the mistakes so you don't have to. This is not a good process to use. You shouldn't be using anything else on your radiators other than dish soap. The reason for this is other chemicals can actually ruin the coating on your radiators and some chemicals can actually be quite dangerous with the chemicals that they release when the heat comes on so we don't want that in our homes. My bad. You can deduct a brownie point from me, it's fine but to keep us all safe I don't want to encourage you guys to keep putting fabric softener and other chemicals on your radiators if it is not safe to do so and word on the street is it's not safe so get your dish soap and just go over the entire radiator and then like I said any scuff marks that we find we're going to use a magic eraser magic erasers are absolutely fine to use on these because it is only tap water that we will be using <laughs> radiators are clean you can go ahead and dry them with a microfiber cloth or your crystal clear cloth and that my friends is all we need to do we're going to repeat this process throughout our homes on all of our radiators and hopefully 
This will give you nice warmth during these cold snaps during lockdown and it will also save you money on your electricity bill and your heating bills because your radiator should be working much more efficiently now. for today's clean. I hope you come back again tomorrow for day nine. Don't forget that if you are enjoying this 30 days of cleaning with Hayley, share it to the world. We want as many people joining as possible. Keep your comments coming in and don't forget to click on the like button if you enjoyed this video and you are loving the clean. See you tomorrow guys. Mwah. Love ya. <laughs>